Hi there. Today is Saturday, April 16th. And that makes this the week 15 Create Brilliance 2022 weekly update. Hi, how are you doing? So um, it's Easter weekend. And so, you know, that's, that's, that's why the bunny dress decided to uh, make an appearance. Um, and uh, I had, I had found it. I mean, obviously I knew it was in my closet, right? Um, but I realized, oh, hey, I'm going to be working the day before Easter and I can wear this. Absolutely. I can wear this. But then I was like, what hand knit item am I going to wear with it? And um, I had been going through, I've been looking for something else. And I found this, which was my stunt shrug back before I got married um, when I was shopping for wedding dresses. I knew I was going to have something um, like a cardigan, a bolero or something over my shoulders, over my arms. And I needed to be able to see how a dress would look with something. So this I put together very simply, very quickly, like probably the night before um, my first uh, wedding dress appointment. And uh, yeah, it became the stunt shrug. Um, <laughs> And, you know, hey, it works, right? It works. And and because there's like a little bit of yellow and it's kind of a creamy color, it's like, oh, it kind of, it, it, it kind of works. So that's, that's, that's how that happened. But um, yeah, so I just got off of work. So I'm still a little scattered. Today, day was busy, but it did not feel like quite as hectic a pace as the last two Saturdays had. So, you know, I'm getting a feel. Maybe maybe it was, and I'm just, you know, getting a feel for it. Um, I'd love that to be the reason. <laughs> but who knows? At any rate, um, I'm st I am love working there so much. I really, really do. Um, it's just, I know that people tell stories about, like, retail hell, hell and stuff like that. But I think that... I think that it matters, first of all, where you're working and why you're working there. Are you working there because, you know, are you working somewhere because just because you need a job and that was what was available and you have, you know, no investment in the products or the people or, or, or whatever, then yeah, it can, it could definitely be hellacious. Um, but again, from my, what, two and a half weeks experience, I do think it makes a difference that we are all happy to be there on either side of the counter, whether we're part of the team that's working, whether it's the customers, everybody's in that shop because they want to be, <laughs> they're looking for something. And it's because it's a, a knitting shop because it's a yarn shop. Well, it's not just a knitting shop. <laughs> Because it's a, a yarn shop and 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 it carries all sorts all manner of of wonderful things for knitting crochet other fiber work uh embroidery all sorts of little projects and 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 things to to accompany them i just i just think that there's something indescribably different about working there so for this being my first time working retail i I am conscious and cognizant of the fact that this is probably not everybody's <laughs> first retail experience, but then, you know, who, when have I ever done things normally? Um, <laughs> but speaking of knitting, um, here's a quick project update. We'll start with the, um, the knitting that I had on the needles before. Um, so this week I finally finished the first section as, as I said, I would probably, um, and started this second section, which is actually done with two colors and it's in a technique called mosaic knitting. And I'm still waiting for it to, to see how it's really going to turn out. I mean, yes, I've seen the pictures on the pattern, but <laughs> I've never done, um, this style of knitting, this, this, this way of patterning before. So it'll be interesting and goodness knows it's a learning experience because this is a very, it's, it's not a difficult pattern, 
as far as like the stitches go. I have yet, I mean, you know, I'm on the second, there is a lace pattern later on, um, or lace work later on, but I mean, so far it's just keeping things straight. So it's really about paying attention to details. And, um, so it's not like an easy knit, probably it's intermediate because it's not something you can just, it's not mindless knitting or like the, the, even necessarily the meditative knitting sometimes. I mean, I do get enjoyment and relaxation from it, but I have to pay attention. <laughs> I, I cannot multitask or cannot really uh, process switch as quickly when I'm working on the, the Poirot um, doll. Now, that being said, um, I also uh, started a new project this week because, yeah, I needed to do that. There are reasons. Um, we were looking up something in the store and uh, came across something and I was curious about it and some of the parameters we were putting on it. And I was just like, that looks really interesting for being a crochet project. Um, and I'm like, so when I got home, I went ahead and I pulled up the pattern and, uh, yeah, I just, I, yeah, I pulled up the pattern and, and, and started digging into it and decided to try it out myself. And, um, to do this though, I went and I pulled some, you know, yarn out of my stash once. And this yarn is actually some of the first yarn I ever bought from Fezzy Goat. Um, <laughs> so that would have been, you know, almost eight years ago. And then I'm not exactly sure what this is. I think it was around the same time, of, you know, for purchasing, but I don't know. Anyway, um, I wasn't really planning on it, but I realized as I started going that this was the, 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 the metallic, you know, in the, in the gray and then the, the blue that kind of making it a Ravenclaw colored item. And I'm not mad because I, I am Ravenclaw house. Uh, that's, that's, that's always been the case. Now, the big news. Drum roll, please. <laughs> Gerald the giraffe is complete. Yay! Oh. Okay. <laughs> that was my bad. Um, I, I moved some things that I should not have moved. Yeah, we didn't want to do that. <laughs> I don't know. Everything's a little cattywampus now, but, um bit better i think that's better okay sorry anyway so you got a sneak peek there but ha ha here is gerald yay he is finished he is uh, in all of his glory yeah let me let me uh give you some uh good close up so um where his legs would be on the ground there's some beading include including some glass leaf beads um there's some embroidery again on his side of like the trees in the savannah, and there's some beading in there. Um, he did add the tail, did add the tail. He's got some beads on his tail. Um, and then on the front, I had selected the central bead um, to go kind of like in the center of his chest. And then, then I just kind of built off of that just in a very, I mean, there was just, it just kind of developed as it went and there's some beads along his mane now and up his neck and of course then we have the head and it it does it does turn to an extent yeah so here gerald you can you can share the you can share the camera view look at everybody while i while i talk now um gerald here is an example of the 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 brilliance uh, lesson or or whatever um, for this week, and uh, that is resilience. <laughs> resilience and persistence and 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 all of those things, um, they have a lot in common. But in this case, um, you know, last week I talked about the pivot, and and how you know sometimes we have to kind of change direction, and sometimes you know. We just kind of, or we're getting where we're going. We're just not getting there the way we thought we would. Um, I think resilience has a lot to do with that. If, 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 if you possess resilience, if you can harness resilience, beg, borrow, steal resilience. I don't know how you do that, but I'm sure there's a way. Um, 
you have the opportunity to just you know you weather the storm that's 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 basically what it is yes yeah, sorry um i keep wanting to to kind of fiddle with him um and i'm trying to be very careful because of course he has been entered into a um an art exhibit and you know i he needs to stay very safe <laughs> until then um load in for that is almost a month away so yeah <laughs> going to be very safe um but yeah that resilience allows us to kind of make it through tough times now relatively speaking if things have not been tough lately um i did put everything else on hold uh in, in reality for gerald um because the deadline was coming up of course at the last moment it was extended but i was like nope i am committed this is gonna get done i am gonna be finished with this because i did not want to as much as i loved working on this it did as as can happen with a lot of projects it it does become draining after a little while but it takes a certain amount of resilience to get through them um i remember when i used to do um cake decorating and or when I used to decorate cakes. Yeah, that's probably a better way to say that, right? <sighs> wedding cake orders. I loved to do them. I loved talking about the wedding cakes. I loved planning it. I loved decorating the cake. I loved delivering it. But there would always be a point somewhere in the project where I just, in fact, I, I referred to each one and if you ever got a wedding cake from me, don't take offense at this, please. It's not its not any reflection of the people or, or the projects that I was doing, but it was a reflection of my fatigue um, at the project, which I now know is probably had something to do with that frontal lobe ADHD kind of thing going on. Um, the dopamine gets low after a little while until the very end. Um but yeah, I would call it the, you know, the latest monstrosity because if there's this, there comes at this point where you're covered in icing or the, you know, like there's this film of, of icing or powdered sugar and, and, and you've, you know, your hands are tired from piping or from, you know, molding or, or manipulating everything. And, uh, and you just know, you know, you have to get through it because Stopping is not an option, especially when you're doing something like a wedding cake. I mean, they're kind of counting on you. Um, is it the most important thing of a of a wedding day? Absolutely not. Is it an important thing? Yeah, most people would agree that it is. Absolutely. So yeah. Um, so yeah, and 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 that and, and then it takes resilience to push through those moments and uh, you know, get to the finish line, get to the good stuff again. Um, and I felt like I hit that with Gerald <laughs> roundabout Wednesday and, you know, Wednesday evening and stuff. And, uh, and I knew I still had time to go and, and on Thursday and yeah, um, yeah, it was, I was, I was feeling it. I was feeling it and, you know, but I just had to push through. In fact, you know, something went awry with one of the parts that I'd already finished and I had to do like a really quick, um, I had to fix, I had to fix something that had broken. Uh, one of the beads had decided that, nah, we're not going to like hold our shape anymore. We're just going to break right in half. And I'm like, ah, um, but you know, it's been repaired. We're good. You know, one of his joints, <laughs> he had to have, he had to have reconstructive surgery on like an elbow, I think is what that would be. Elbow, wrist, ankle. I. Um, but yeah, so, so yeah. And that definitely, when things go wrong, that definitely um, makes, makes it tougher. But yeah, you push through, you power through whenever possible. Um, and I, I honestly think, I mean, he, I learned a lot doing, you know, making him and, you know, I have my next one, um, decided. I can't remember if I said it last week or not, but it's probably, I think I'm thinking right now it's going to be a polar bear and the embroidery on the side is going to be glaciers. I have learned a lot 
doing this. Um, and, you know, in, in things that I can take to the next project and, um, cause you know, I don't like doing, you know, but I'm, I'm really proud of him. I'm really proud of what I was able to accomplish. And while it's not perfect, I'm not even sure what perfect would be in a project like this. Um, but you know, there are things that could have been done better or done differently. Um, but at the same time, I'm really proud of this. And I do think there is, there is a certain amount of brilliance in this project. And, and I, I, I am pleased with myself and I am proud of it. Um, I can recognize that, that, that brilliance. And, uh, yeah, so I want to do more, not of him. I don't want to do another giraffe. See, that's the thing. I don't like to read objects. Um, and I, I don't even like repeat recipes in the kitchen that often. I mean, there are some favorites that I'll go back to after time after time, but I don't do them like regularly. Um, variety is really important to the little dopamine gremlins in my brain. <laughs> and, uh, yeah so i don't want to do another gerald i don't want to do another giraffe i need i need to move on i need to do something else but at the same time um you know i i like the concept and i like parts of how he was constructed and and i want to do more of that i want to have like a whole a whole menagerie a whole family a whole forest jungle whatever um of of critters and and i'm looking forward to to playing with this concept more that's what's important to me that's what's intriguing to me and i do feel like i found maybe maybe my uh, niche Niche. I don't like the way niche sounds, so I say niche. I think both are technically correct, but if you like one over the other, eh, you know, we can agree to disagree, hopefully. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I think I may have found my niche. Is that too early to say? I don't know, but between these and the animal portraits, I'm feeling I'm I'm feeling pretty good, and I feel like okay, maybe that is where I'm where I'm settling in. Um, not settling for, but settling in. Important distinction. At any rate, um, that resilience to power through um, and and execute, but not in the not in, not in that way. <laughs> to complete the project was really key. And yes, I let other things slide in deference to completing him um, and. And now I have to kind of catch back up and that's okay because, you know, that's just the way it goes. Sometimes, sometimes we do, we sacrifice one project for another, um, you know, when it, when it comes down to the wire and then we pick up where we left off. Um, usually I don't like to hyper-focus like to this extent where I, that I had to do in order to finish him on the deadline that was set. Um, because it tempts, it, it's, it's flirting with burnout. Um, and I never, I never want to put myself in that position again, where I have worked so hard and so long on something that when I reach a stopping point, instead of a pause, it's a, it's an end, um, or an ex, you know, a multi-year <laughs> break. Um, you know, I, I still am that way a little bit with cake decorating. I would not, the last cake decorating, the last wedding cake I did was, um, for my brother and my sister-in-law. And that was, that was a good while ago. Um, and before that I hadn't done one in a few years and I didn't really want to do them anymore. Um, I had focused on it and I had pushed myself so hard on some of those things that I was just like, Neh. um, so I don't, I don't want to do that. That's why I'm happy and content and, and welcome 
a lot of different projects um, because if I feel like I'm approaching burnout on one or, or getting a little bit fried or frazzled, then I can take a step back and switch to a different project that, you know, I'm not, I'm not frying on and I can get some distance. I can get some space. I can clear my head and then I can go back to that other one and be happy to still be working on it. Um, and that's, that's what, so, and, and, you know, let me not lose my train of thought. The important thing being that I'm still creating, I'm still accessing my creativity. I'm still giving myself that input that I need, um, that stimulation that the brain needs to produce the dopamine and do all that fun stuff, um, without, you know, without, there's, there's no full stop lull and then I've got to, you know, get myself back into it. No, I'm just changing lanes. I'm switching gears. And that's important for me. Um, and everybody's different. You know, if you don't, if, if you don't like to have multiple things going on, then maybe sometimes you do need to take breaks and go do something completely different. Um, you know, take a walk or watch a TV show or read a book or whatever it is, whatever it is. Um, me, I keep multiple projects and multiple types around <laughs> and eventually I get to them. And if I don't, then it's because the time for it has passed. Um, and, and that's just all there is to it. Anyway, all that being said, um, I feel fairly accomplished this week, even though it was only the one thing I got done really, um, but I'm trying to put it bay. I'm trying to keep it bay. Those like those, those little thoughts in the back of the brain that says, "Yes, but you can get this done. You can get this done." And it's no snappy. I'm not listening to them. <laughs> I'm not listening to them. Um, I'm getting back to the book. I'll finish up the coloring book because I just need to finish up the cover art and stuff, and 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 get that published and available for people. And it's not tied to a specific time of year or or holiday or person or anything like that it's just I I think you know I think and I hope that it will do well and I need to get back to writing book four um but you know and 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 doing the the copywriting coursework all of that stuff is still waiting for me um and and I'm happy to go back to it I'm I'm happy to let Gerald sit in repose and, uh, you know, survey his domain here in the office, here in the, uh, oh, the abyss, the playroom, the oasis to be, I don't know. We're kind of in transition, so no one, one name fits anymore. <laughs> but to that end, I actually, yesterday after I, I got back from work, I, uh, I started to kind of clean up because things had gotten a little chaotic and... I can work around that for no with no problem for a while, but there comes a time when it starts to get to me. And so again, gotta gotta just power through and and go through like a little dust devil or Tasmanian devil, um, which I've been seeing a lot of on um Secrets of the Zoo Down Under, the the Tazzy Devils. They are they're scary sounding, but they're kinda cute. <laughs> and they don't look like the Looney Tunes. But, um, but yeah, so I just, but yeah, so Gerald can survey his slightly neater domain and, and I can regroup and I can get back to all the other stuff that I've been working on and want to continue to work on, um, while the polar bear planning kind of percolates and, you know, I can, can start pulling things together for, for it and take my time on it. and. Um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. Thank you so much for joining me this week for another update in the Create Brilliance uh, saga. No, saga is not the right word. Um, series, um, endeavor, um, aspiration, all, all those words, all those words. Um, I am so pleased if you watched this far, if, even if you didn't. <laughs> but yeah, you wouldn't see it if, you did, if you're not watching this far. Thank you so much. Um, I hope that you have 
Um, if you celebrate uh, and you're watching this when it goes live on the 17th, I hope you have a good, a happy Easter. <laughs> I couldn't find my bunny ears. I, I had some at some point, but I think they, I think they went away and I might need to, to make more bunny ears or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so no bunny ears, but I get the bunnies, bunnies on the dress. Um, and, uh, yeah. <laughs> Um, I hope you have a happy Easter, happy Sunday, otherwise, or whenever, or happy day, whatever day it is that you see this video. Um, I hope that you make some time for yourself, first and foremost, do something creative, whatever that means to you, or just take some time for self-care or a time out, even if you just need five minutes, 15 minutes of peace and quiet. Just to yourself with no one, no one demanding anything of you. I hope you find that. I hope you make time for that. And I will see you next week because I am happy I am here. I am happy you're here. And I want us both to be here in another week. Take care of yourself. Have time and space. Take care of someone else. But of course, don't be afraid to show the world your book. Bye.